Morning all, before I try and get a 15 minute gang, it's uh, very early in the morning, uh, 20 past 6, <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> time, um, so uh, any title players on, just to watch while we're waiting, so uh, Norival 3147, so it's being shredded, and I am who's very very high rated hmm. wonder who shredding is how did this game start h6 yes interesting move h6 This Nigel Short beat um, Adams with H6. Yeah, Black seems to have a very good position here. Threatening Queenie free check. Winning a bishop now. Hmm. That's a solution. So is this blockade going to be really strong? Uh, under about 94 check. Take, take, take. Queen d2. Knight 4 here, yeah. Pretty strong. So, uh, King g1, Queen e3 there's knight g3 is useful or something else bishop b5 check first <clears throat> um Ah, it's going for a draw. Or maybe not. It's a bit shorter on time. It's three one blitz though. Gained a bit of time from that. Uh draw. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else to examine observe? Of Nora Val again. Ah, soccer is fun. Let's kick off with the first move. And then, right, I think King's Gambit was fun yesterday. So I'm going to stick with that for a moment. <coughs> On this line. B4, that also spices things up here. Hmm. Pressure on E5 already. Free fin, Jedi Bishop. Although it does seem Knight G4 could be strong here. I'll invite that anyway, because knight f2 is rook f1. Bishop f2. Whoa. Uh, I think it could lead to a trap knight. I'm hoping knight e3. King d c1. Well, king king d1 here rather. King d1 knight e3 king c1. I just play king here. Yeah. This is going to be an early morning <laughs> slaughter. That's the problem. Feeling a bit, a bit sleepy. So I uh, hope not. Knight c4. Maybe I can just take and then 
again there's pressure on e5 to look forward to in fact taking and winning the bishop on c5 could be uh, on the cards ah I take on e5 is that a free pawn or rook d1 or g3 or c5 or knight c3 or f5 there's quite a few alternatives here um, nabbing a pawn take take knight e5 say castles there's a rook d1 there rook e8 knight d7 bishop d7 there's queen g4 on g7 there's bishop f6 knight c3 do I want to keep things closed on that e5 I could play f5 here given it's early morning I think I'll keep things a bit closed uh, and just try and win on the king side slower maybe g4 g5 or h4 get my rooks connected stuff like that is usually handy okay we can sort of get the rooks out right so um playing, playing bishop c3 and king b2 just to connect the rooks and then try and still try and wake up a bit i've got my coffee here ah uh, mind you bishop oh there bishop c6 there's queen d3 bit of a bind on d5 there so that's okay i hope queen d3 like g4 is not too devastating Look forward to b5, if a5 anyway, or I can just take. So king b2 maybe, mind you there's b5, maybe a4 is important to stop b5. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll play a4, that uses the rook anyway, on a1. So if king b2, maybe g4 takes rook g1, knight f2 is annoying, ah, winning e4 again. So what about h3 first, that's knight h5, that's annoying, a little bit, not as much, g4, knight f4. I think h3 is the better bet to go for g4, get gain space on both sides of the board. here or g4 or b5 even b5 can lend trouble with a6 later so h3 it is I think and then g4 got a bind at the moment against d5 c3 is the bishop on c3 is protecting b4 let's play g4 then maybe uh, Okay, is that a problem? I suppose there's, there's queen f1 to protect things at the moment. Uh, I want to maybe play b5 at some point. g5. g5 and then f6. This bishop putting pressure on e4, is it really going to be significant? Is it better to play b5 and now a6 later? It kicks the bishop. Then g5, let's say a6, that is a problem. Then he's on a4. So this might be the time for b5. And then f6. I think so. And this is a bishop sack. Okay, so f6 here. Right, so the dark square is looking a bit. If I think g5 and sack. G5 sack H3 could close up the position. Right, so Queen F2, Queen E6, Queen H4 threatens maybe Knight G5. So Queen F2 may be more promising, quicker. There's no horrible Knight D for anything. So Queen E6, Queen H4, no time for 
Queen C4 there. Queen E6 is going to be a powerful move. Hmm. Not there, maybe. So Queen H4. This is probably the right approach. G5 was a bit slow, maybe Queen E6 on C4. Also C5 to come in the tension here. Let's start on the mining E5. B6 to slow down the intention over there's a pin on A1. Just rook B1. What about just rook B1 for a sec? Rook can come down to A3, so B6 could slow things down. Just Queen H4, just ignoring it for a sec. But Queen H6, and Knight G5. <clears throat> so B6 is in reserve to slow down this onslaught. G takes and then rook g1. There's knight e2. Can we? I think it's just going to get slaughtered on the king side. I think I'm going to take. So just rook g1. It looks pretty quick for queen h5 as a threat. King h7, rook g5. I've got three attacking bits if you include this. That's another attacking piece. Uh, so rook g5, there's knight f6, what about knight g5? Knight g5 looks pretty crushing, king g8, I mean queen h5 takes knight e6, king h8, this looks like a juicy position all of a sudden. Um, rook g5, there's no knight f6. A rook g8, rook h5, that looks simple. Just rook g5. So I'm threatening now rook h5 and just bring the other rook to g1. There's no time for a, b, there's king b2. It's a lot of time. There's queen h5 here. Takes rook g7, king h8, there's bishop d2. That's mate, isn't it? So queen h5. This is good for first thing in the morning. <laughs> rook g7 and bishop d2. Uh, there's rook g6 here. Ooh, and then there's queen h8 and f7. Is that getting too brilliant? Rook g6, I, I get my uh, my rook back. So rook g6 takes, queen h8 takes, tech takes. I lose the bishop. No, hang on, takes, takes f7, f7. King takes. Queen takes. Rook takes. Is it needed? My queen's kind of trapped here. Hmm. There is knight g5 in that line. So rook takes g6. I've got nine minutes. I can invest a minute or two here. Rook g6, fg, f7, king takes, actually my bishop isn't even on that line, so my queen's trapped here, oh dear, that's the true picture, um, my queen is trapped, so I think I have to play rook g6, just hallucinating on this diagonal, Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, so I think I'll just, I'll have to take, let's win that rook. I'll sack that rook, queen for the other rook. I'll keep the queen on. If I keep the queen on. That's a real shame. Uh, I think I have to play rook g6, it weakens the king a bit.
On that side, knight h4 to carry on the attack. Uh, if king. Mm. Oh, it's fluffed, I think. Queen f7, it looks fluffed. And this knight h4 here is dangerous. Taking knight e4, taking on g6. Knight h4. What a mess. Okay, I can take on g6 and be the exchange down. Not ideal. Or queen g3. Queen g3 might persist a bit more. I think being the exchange down is not hot. Mind you, there's g5 coming up. G5, end of attack. So maybe Queen G6 is the way to go. It's not that hot, is it? If Queen G6 is the way to go, it's not hot. It's G5. Um, it's not threatening rook h4 just, just yet, so I'll go with that. Because there's queen g5. So, uh, get the troops in with king b2, rook a4, rook g1. Then maybe there's knight f3 for knight g5 there. On rook a4, hopefully there's no time for rook a4, so g5, there's no time for rook h4 because of queen g5, queen h4 so say g5, king b2 rook a4, rook g1 that looks okay <clears throat> so situation here, damage report oh dear Knight f3 to g5. Is that possible? I can then play h4. It doesn't look such a bad exchange down. If rook h3 is knight g5 check. Alright, let's do that. Because otherwise the knight's a bit silly on h4. It's better on g5, it supports f7. And this diagonal, if I can open up this diagonal, that'd be really cool. With f7 being. Oh, this diagonal's not that dangerous. Alright, if I take off and then knight g5. Uh, running out of bits. Alternative is rook b1, but then there's rook c4. And that looks horrible. So at least there's the promise of f7 here. Maybe a queen sack, bishop e5, then queen e5, then the f8. So f7 might actually be a good move there if king h8. Queen moves. We'll say queen e7, bishop e5, d, queen e5, queen e5, f8. That's a good idea. So I think rook g5 might be forced. If rook g5 is forced, whoa. Now he's neutralizing. What about bishop d2? If bishop of queen h3 f7, I think there's not much choice apart from bishop d2. And if f7, king g7, queen e7. So, pawn situation, not too bad. Okay, so f7 here. Oh dear, there was queen f1 check. 
is threatening to mate me now with Queen F1. Whoa. What about Queen H6 get the Queen off? Threaten uh, F8? That's a nifty to get rid of Queen F1. He's just put a mating there. If F8, there's Queen H1. Still mating that. So Queen takes, Bishop takes. That's cruel. How does he stop F8? I don't think you can stop queening. Queen h6 takes takes. Can't stop queening. Unless I'm hallucinating that. Just check that. King takes f8. There's no king g8. There's no king g7. Nothing to do with the bishop. Here, there's that. Okay. That solves the problems. Ticks all the boxes. Kiss king b2 here. Blimey. Well, I want to take this pawn now. Clearly, uh, I think the excitement's gone now. Is he really going to queen that pawn? I could force him in front of the pawn with check and then take on c7. To slow that pawn down, just in case. There's Queen F5 to hold on to E4. Right, I don't want to lose on time, but I can take this pawn and this pawn, so I'm going to go for that. I think. I've got my past E pawn now. So e6, play e8 now, winning the bishop. I can gain time with this pawn, c5, or that's very exciting. Okay, let's uh Yeah. <laughs> oh dear oh dear. Oh alright, he's going over it a bit. Uh yep. Yep. I think he blundered. He could have taken that pawn. It's a shame, but earlier, if we just go earlier, did I not have a great attack here? Anyway, did I not blunder this? Just rook. rook H font. Dear oh dear. Just rook takes H five. Yeah. the earlier opportunity actually though I think this is a bit unfair because it was a fluff attack because rook takes h5 uh, anyway okay okay uh, comments or questions on YouTube I think rook h5 is easily that that's takes king g8, queen g5 is mating, king f8, queen g7, rook h5, easy win. If king g8, rook h8. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.